Hello there and welcome. You're watching a Company of Heroes shoutcast and it's a new series that I've just started called A's Stratocast, which is a terrible pun on the guitar and the word cast and the word strategy. Today I've got something very, somebody very interesting. He's called Alt. Hello Alt. Hi guys. This guy is a former competitive Dawn of War player, is that right? Yes, that's correct. I've been playing since Dark Crusade and I've had some comp competitive experience. Oh well, wow. so you've been a member of a clan? Have you done tournaments and stuff? Pretty much, yeah. Ah, right, good to hear. And you're now hitting the ground running with Company Heroes 2, another Relic game? Exactly. I, I really like Relic games, and that's why I want to give Company of Heroes 2 a shot, and so far it's really promising. I'm looking forward to the future of it. Yeah, definitely. I hope you've got your wallet open for all the DLC and that. No, screw DLC, I just want expansions. <laughs> awesome. Um, I'm going to bring the game up now. The game is a tournament level game on the TFN's $1,000 World Championship Tournament, and the interesting thing about it is the opponent he's against. Uh, do you want to introduce your opponent, Eld? Yes, this is um, the Relic lead hunter, Peter. He's a very interesting player to play against. He tries unconventional strategies and all kinds of different things, so look forward to this replay. I'm pretty sure it's going to be fun. Well, definitely. Well, it seems like it's going to be fun because from what I've heard of Peter's play, he likes to experiment with his own game because he knows the stats, he knows everything about the game much more than we do at this stage. So he can, uh, for want of a better word, fuck around with it and feel a lot more confident in what he's doing. So it's going to be interesting. You're as the Germans, which are decidedly underpowered against the Soviets in 1v1 at the moment. I think you'd agree with that. Yes, yeah, I'll have to agree with that. It's really difficult to play as the Germans, but I really enjoy them. Yeah, me too. I, I prefer playing as the Germans because I just think they're sexier and cooler, um, even though they, they do tend to lose quite a bit at the moment. Um, we're at five seconds. As you're the guest, would you like to do the countdown? Sure, I can do that. All right, I'll start now. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Go! <laughs> nice. Good countdown. Um... And obviously you. you're going for a T1 start with your first Pioneers. No extra Pioneers, so good, good, nah. solid, you know, have to get all that out of there. Um, what do you think about Pioneers as a combat unit? Because I think, uh, yeah, what do you think? In the past they were pretty weak, but after their recent stealth buff, they're, they're actually pretty decent. Like, two Pioneers can win against a conscript squad, and they can actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the combat engineer squad now. If they get good cover and get close enough, that is. Yeah, that's what I was getting at when I was asking that question. Obviously, they have had the stealth buff, so the submachine guns, I think, across the board are now a little bit more powerful, which I think affects uh, support weapons too, which needed a bit of a buff as well. Um, your T1 build, usually, if this was a competitive like auto match game, what do you tend to get from Tier 1? Well, right now the most comfortable build I have is two Grenadiers, heavy machine gun, and, then, and another Grenadier after that, and then I tech up. I just find it really flexible to go around with that many units on tier 1. Especially Definitely. against the Conscript spam that's generally just most popular. Well, you abused me earlier with a bit of an unconventional strategy, didn't you? You had four Grenadiers <laughs> into an Ostrovind. <laughs> that, that really yes, fucked me up. Yes. The idea behind that is just to take as much ground, hold it for as long as possible, and get all that fuel so I can get an Oswin out. Yeah, it was risky, but you chose the right person to implement it against, let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, we've got a Peter obviously swallowing up, if you see the tap map in the bottom left, the territory very quickly. Uh, it's quite shocking to see how little you have in comparison at the moment, just two sectors he has full. Uh, three coming up, four, five now, six. <laughs> yeah, basically Indeed. the Russians have so much dominance early on. Is the advantage of not having to build a tier one building and just sending them straight out? Oh, oh strong capping unit as well. Paraneo can't stop him very easily. Grand here would have to go. just turned you up in team speak out. <laughs> I don't think uh, you were very loud at the start there, just because of the game. But um, yeah, we've got two conscript squads absolutely dominating your pioneers. I'm surprised you survived, to be honest. Um, you know, that was it could have been a lot worse. Obviously, small arms fire isn't that powerful in this game. Um, you didn't play much of the first game, did you? No, not, not really. 
tried one competitive game and a few matchmaking games, but I'd prefer to stick to Down of War then. Yeah, definitely. Well, you stick with what you know, but then now you've got this new game, you can really throw yourself into it and feel on a level pegging. Exactly. Conscript down for Peter already. Oh no, he went into the building. No, he went in the building. <laughs> but he, he could go down. He's very, it's very close. Close call. Now and he's there down. There he goes. He's dropped. Arguably bad play from Peter then, you must say. I mean, I wouldn't have put a one man Conscript squad on the building. It was a. Uh, I don't know. I think he, he thought if he retreated, he would just go through my grenadiers and die anyway, so he tried to do what he could. Yeah, for sure. Good MG backup, but uh, you'd be expecting the conscripts to come around the back of it now immediately. That's what I'd be thinking. I'd be like, right, I've pinned this squad down. Where are the seven other squads to come out of the woodwork? <laughs> yeah, I knew that. I knew that. So I was just trying to move my machine gun up as fast as possible. But I didn't see anything coming, so I just went for it. And I had that thing secured, so I could just move in, those mortars and stuff. I go for three grands in this particular game. That's quite a hefty tier one relative to what some people go for. You've left yourself with a gaping hole for M3 insertion, haven't you? Yes, yes, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to counter that, but generally the grand years are enough. If they get too close, you just panzer faust them. Yeah, and then sure. you can run away and survive. <laughs> sometimes, survive sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Um, M3 spam can be extremely difficult to counter when it's a good player. And here's the conscripts finally to flank the south of the MG. Ooh, my Grenadier might go down. No, he should have focus fired the no. Grenadier, I think. So this guy's micro isn't the top, but it's just his game knowledge and his meta that really allows him to be a uh, scary opponent. Well, we'll soon I see I guess that so, anyway. but... There he goes, he flanks my machine gun and I have to retreat. I'm really, your, your play so far has been very good. I mean, you're taking the cuts off, you've got okay map control. I mean, no fuel at this present point, well, it's just about to be taken from you. Um, but it's going okay, you know, could be worse, could be better. Yeah, honestly, I, I think I could have played better, but I was pretty tired at that point. It was the sixth, seventh game that day in the tournament because the first game we played I my team just disconnected and we had to replay the game Ugh, that's terrible yeah I was really sad about that because it was going pretty well in my favor yeah that must have been frustrating for you um, as I say yeah these tournaments can t really take it out of you so we have to be a little bit forgiving of like, any micro missteps by any of the players in this particular game because obviously they've already played like five games this day already very competitive games indeed and Peter actually took a break, uh, but he... Well, actually, never mind that, that shouldn't be important. Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> I, I don't want to spoil anything. We've got, um... Yeah, tier 2's just been built. What, what do you reckon? What do you, do you remember what you built first from it? I mean, judging by the situation, I'd think a half... Yes, you've gone for a half track, excellent. Yep. And you've been saving your munitions too. I, I feel, uh... You know, it's gonna get a bit crispy around here. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Obviously, with with saving for the half-track, you haven't been able to um, upgrade any of your Grens to the all-important LMG, so, you know, that's I don't think it would advantage. be that important. I don't think it would be that important anyway True. against a Maxim. It would yes. just pin me down, and I can't move if I have an LMG anyway. That's true, yes. Maxim has uh, made a massive resurgence in recent... Uh, competitive play on company first. In the beta and the early stage of release, so just last week now, it wasn't used at all, and now it seems to be used in every game. Indeed, I I, I think people just underestimated the Maxim, thinking it's it's got a small arc of fire and doesn't suppress that well, but it has lots of killing power and just sets up really quickly. Yeah, and, and if you try to flank it, with, if you try to flank it with a squad, you just can't get it to die because of how many people they have and yeah, they can and set they up can really quickly spin and suppress you the amount again. of uh, time it takes all the time, exactly. they spin really quickly, they're very powerful um, I think you could knock a few, uh, few men off the squad, make it a four man squad instead and be uh, a good balance I'd think I, I have to agree with that, that would really make it much better so far my counter to Maxims is to get a thing for a half try yeah, well, yeah, because what a great stretch. <laughs> they usually don't have too many conscripts if they spam maxims and you can just go in and 
flame them to death. Yes, Peter just did so. I'm going to call Peter out on this. In um, the final cast for the TFN tournament, Peter was talking about you should never throw a Molotov or throw a grenade as a last ditch effort just before you retreat because it's a waste of munitions. And he just did it. <laughs> so every player does that. <laughs> Even. Yeah. It's something you have to learn the hard way. Definitely. Um, yeah, munitions are something that you should in invest in. Permanent fixtures such as LMGs, uh, flame, flammenwerfer upgrades, you know, because then you get the benefits all game Indeed. round. The only times where it's really good to use a grenade or a Molotov is if it's a building or really good cover. You want to deny that cover for them, flush them out so you can get some really good shots in. Yeah, the 82mm uh, mortar, by the way, is going to make its presence known shortly. Indeed. And that's a real big pain in the ass, especially against a heavy machine gun in the building. Yes. We've got the Flammenwerfer already with a damaged engine. I think that's a pretty good use of an uh, anti-tank grenade, though, on the Flammenwerfer, because then you can retreat knowing you're going to survive, not going to get uh, destroyed. Yeah, pretty much, if you get the 18 8 off, you're guaranteed to survive. And wow, that does a lot of damage. It really did. think it does as much. But take note of the maximum, it deals a lot of damage as well. Oh yeah, I see that. It's not doing too bad. You got a few freezing squads. Is that a heavy engine now? Oh yes, my god, look how much now. damage the maximum's doing. Oh, yeah, no, just critted it. And another uh, AT grenade, so that's three AT grenades, maximum damage. It's got to be going down soon. Oh. Yes, yes, fortunately. And especially with the heavy engine damage, it's just a sitting duck out there. Oh, for sure. It's quite an active game for something in a blizzard. I think players are more confident in blizzards now the game's been out for a while. Yeah, look at the half track, he's just warming everyone up, so that's a benefit <laughs> of dying. Yeah, he's a friendly half track, well he was before he died. <laughs> All that napalm going to waste, it's unfortunate that the Ruskies don't get to get roasted. <laughs> Yeah, there's a missed bit of, uh, you know, uh, voiceover that's not quite there. There's nothing better than a roasted Russian. Indeed. Oh, I did my Russian accent oh. for it though. I meant a German one. <laughs> Guys, going really they heavy on this going down here play. at the cutoff point. Yes, nice. Maxim gets the courage. The Maxim gets the screw. You don't hear that said much in uh, competitive play. <laughs> Usually they just wheel it out of there it's and not. troll. Indeed. Pan Panzer Grenadiers are really good at killing units on retreat though. Yeah. You've just Great got a uh, tier 3 I've heard. That's pretty good going. Not a bad time to get that. It's only 10 minutes into the game. Oh, another kill on retreat. So uh, Peter's really suffering at the moment. Indeed. That's unfortunate for Peter. But he does have a hefty army. Still three conscripts going an 80 gun and a mortar as well. Yeah, not bad at all. He's got a really heavy uh, tier 2 strategy here. Three, one, one unit of each type from tier 3. I really like all the units. Oh, the scout can could use a buff because it dies from just the sneeze, but yes. all the units are pretty damn good, especially from the ideas. Yes, the scout car for the Germans is uh, pretty damn terrible. The, the 222. Panzer Grenadiers were dicing with death then in that Molotov, they could have been a lot worse off. I'd hate to lose a Panzer Grenadier squad, they're so expensive. They are, they're also expensive to reinforce. I think so a very good cool, tip right? in this game is to not get too many Panzer Grenadier squads because of the reinforcement cost. I think it's 45 or 40, it's very high. Oh no, he got his maximum back. For Grenadiers is 30 and Panzer Grenadiers is 45. Nice rifle nade by the way, that could have been a lot better. Um, yeah, I was hoping he Maxim wouldn't survive that and we'll actually get behind it. Oh, you chose I to think get you a scout car in this game. Trolley out. Yes, I did. Look at it wheel away. It's not dying. It's stop not exactly. dying. So not. It's not even wheeling. It just <laughs> he's just crouching and wheeling away. It's the same for you. They are one of the most trolley units. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we've got the scout car now going to make its presence known. I, I, I predict it's going to be utterly uh, unconvincing in its role. Generally, yeah, but you can get a scout car to flank the 
weapon teams are actually pretty good at killing uh, heavy maxim guns and mortars as well. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, it's good. It's just, it just seems to be good against conscripts, and I, I would have thought that'd be its primary use without the upgrade. Yeah, it's. I think that's exactly it. It's not looking good for Peter here. He's really cut off from all the major resources. Yeah, have you got anything building from tier three yet? I'm not, I like this build, the support armor corps. Nothing building just yet, though. Yeah, you've got it ready. I mean, uh, it's going to be interesting to, to see wh which uh, of the vehicles you go for. You've got Sturgosh, Finn, Panzer IV, you know. Um, obviously, Panzer IV seems to be the most popular choice, but after I saw Aimstrong lose mm -hmm. five of them in one game, um, sometimes they can be a bit, little, little bit underwhelming. It depends on how the player uses them. Exactly. So, so really, you have to be conservative with them. Indeed, and it's easy to just lose them if you just pull them straight in. They aren't the strongest of tanks to run attacks like from AT guns or any other tanks. Oh, se second Maxim down, but he's got the first Maxim back in action. It's just repelled your forces from the south, uh, but he lost his Ma Maxim in the north. So it's a tale of you know positives and negatives for Peter at this point. Aye. Right. The scout car, wild on the low health. Yeah, it's uh, it's got three kills though, which is possibly no, it's not paid for itself, not even slightly. But uh, they rarely do. They're m more of a hindrance. They are uh, primarily a scout <laughs> unit. Yeah. And now, now, and now it's just, dead. <laughs> I wanted to kill that Morsha with the scout car, just harass it and make it run away. But conscripts only have to do is look at it. Oh, good dodge by the way from that building in the south. Um, you've got very good uh, reactionary still... skills. Still got a grand year there, but yes, thank you. Yeah, Molotovs can be like that. You think you've dodged them and they still get you. Yeah. It had a splash attack. Look at the flames there outside the building as well. I think it depends on how big the building is. Sorry, did you say the Molotov has a splash attack? Like a uh, magic arc? Splash attack, Just... I think he said. That's quite a nice way of putting it. <laughs> splash attack, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> It is spl it splashing around in an area of effect. After Definitely, all. you're right. That's what I meant. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Oh, look at this Maxim at my at the German cutoff. He's just hiding in the snow. Ah, oh, sneaky Maxim. bastard! I see him. I see him. Maximum range for the Maxim. Jesus Christ! They're really good in these uh, small cutoff points. They cover the entire area, and they can just instantly turn around. I like the fact that you're Being respecting your opponent not enough to use bundle nades because I think bundle nades can be very ineffective sometimes because they cost so much and uh, they're easy to dodge if you're a good player. So that's a good level funny, of respect. Funny enough, I just used a bundle nade. Oh, to Maxim at the cutoff point. Did it work? It worked though. It that's works. good. It that's good. The entire thing. No, but you chose the right target. You know, you chose a support team that was used. You know, couldn't get away as quick. That's good stuff. Yes. Thank you. Just using bottom nades and clubs of targets is just really effective. Yeah, because uh, in company here is one, the top players still used grenades, but they used it on periphery uh, engagements to the side of the map where the concentration of the player was a little bit less. That's what they tend to do. Yeah, that's a really good way to use your grenades. It Definitely. makes it more likely to hit and much more, more effective. Exactly. Net, Not an ammunition um, loss. Also, if you have multiple targets, choose the target of least priority for your opponents. So they, if you, they have a VET-3 uh, conscript squad, they know you're going to try and grenade those guys. Grenade the combat engineers instead. You've killed a unit, and the guy is less likely to dodge with that unit because he thinks you're less likely to want to kill it. Uh, it's sometimes better to kill the support uh, infantry rather than the primary targets. Indeed, like if you have a tank and you kill the infantry, then the tank is a sitting duck usually. As well, as well. That's yeah. that's that's the kind of thinking you can go through. Like uh, enemy has a strong army, but one of them is a top dog, like a big tiger, surrounded by grenadiers. Kill off the grenadiers, and the tiger can get kited by all your other units. Exactly. Also, we have a KV-8 on the field. Holy shison, Kriegen! That's going to be pretty terrible. Um, for you at this point because I don't see any hard oh wait a second. We've got the Panzer IV yep. entering the field exactly the same time. We so do. That's not good for the KV8. It's missed its opportunity to be ultra effective. 
Oh, I don't think so. It's like a T70 it's on the field. It can still be very effective on the sides where oh, the Panzer IV isn't. You also have Shrek Plus, for your Panzer Grenadiers. That's going to be an I ultimate did. counter. When I saw the KV-8, I thought, oh, fuck this. I'm going to need to get as much AT as I can. <laughs> oh, for sure. Just look at it, it's roasting my infantry instantly. <laughs> That's three, three Panzer Grenadiers down in one burst. It's got five kills, it's been on the field for less than, you know, a minute. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. It just squished over a Grenadier that was Panzer fasting and he just went, boom. It's not decreased its speed by much either, I'd argue that wasn't a good Faust. Look, it's still going pretty much the same speed. Yeah, it doesn't care. <laughs> it doesn't care. Oh, here we go, the Panzer IV. Now this is going to be interesting. You no, the KV-8 has yeah, it has really strong armor, so it's very difficult to kill with. How tanks. about the rear? If you can get around the rear, maybe. It seems to like I'm I'm not sure. Honestly, you have got to think about the field gun, which is surely uh, still in action. Yep, the field gun's coming to face you. Uh, oh, I didn't the rear at that time. Yeah. I was busy gonna have to get KV8, out of it, but then yes. Oh. And I think he's converted himself to the uh, anti-armor cannon by now. Yeah, he did. Oh no, that's a bad engagement for you. Very bad engagement. Indeed. I think he was baiting with the KVA to get rid of my tank, and that was, I took the bait. Yeah, I, I'd argue that he he his uh, st st tactics and strategy was better than yours then. Um, obviously, you d you disregarded the fact that you had a field gun. You know, um, sometimes it's good to yeah. keep track of what your enemy has and try and guess where it is. Um, but obviously, in a very stressful game, sometimes you can't be as lucid and as clear thinking Indeed. as you'd like to be. <laughs> and do remember, we were tired at that point. Oh, Pretty for sure. tired. Oh, for sure. Um, he's really pushing up now. He's now pushing his field gun into a dominant position to cover for the KV tank, and we've got a so it's got a very good, you know, he's got anti infantry and anti tank, pretty, pretty difficult to counter. And my parent used to have with the flame floor, they, it died instantly. It went boom. <laughs> what a waste of munition. I was pretty desperate at this point with the KV 8, so just. Look at it, just taunting me. You've gone for another Panzer IV tank when the first one didn't work, but obviously you were caught in a uh, an unfortunate situation with the field gun, firstly. You didn't react to it fast enough, so maybe now Indeed. you can react better. Unfortunately, though. Oh, he's built another KV-8! I'm surprised! I thought he might have teched for an SU-85 at that point, you know? To give himself an ultimate counter. Honestly, I think the 85s are overrated. If you get behind them, they're pretty much dead meat. Oh, for sure. Um, used on Mars, maybe, with a, a good player that keeps it uh, very conservatively placed. They can be very good, though. And we have the KV-8 down. It's dead. Yeah, nice, man. I'm, I'm impressed. Good stuff. One. Shreks and uh, Panzer Force. Good combination. I learned from my first experience of trying to kill a KV-8 don't get too far in. So I just went over here to the side. Yeah, good. The dead tank is covered by the hedge. The AT gun couldn't see me, so I just got a free shot in on the rear armor. What are you thinking now, by the way, in this point of the meta game? Obviously, you've got very good at VP dominance. You've got Panzer IVs out. Do you think just keep doing the same thing, or maybe tet to tier four and get a Panther, perhaps? I was pretty confident about this game at that point, and I thought I'll just. Do my best in tier three. I didn't have enough fuel for tier four, and I was cut off from both points as well. So oh, for sure, yeah, for sure. I couldn't really go to the tier four. I wish I could. It would be really good. Oh, I've got a tip for you for anybody watching, obviously. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna let me just watch the engagement, make sure it's not vitally important to the game. Now it's retreated. Good. Um, in the northern point, between the VP and the fuel, there's a wooden fence. Break that on your earliest opportunity if you're the guys starting on the west, because that allows you to move around the map a lot easier. Because otherwise you have to go all the way to the northern tip of the fence to go around it. So with the scout car of your half track, you could have driven through it, and it just helps with uh, pathfinding for the rest of the game. Oh yeah, I remember that. That's a good tip. Thank you for letting me know. I, I keep forgetting about that fence. Yeah, it's really good to crush. It's not there on the summer version of the map, um, which is really helpful. Indeed. 
Okay, actually going on top, the KV-8 oh, and the wow, AT yeah. gun. He's doing the same trick. Same trick, yes. You need to go AT forward, go forward. Yeah. I think it's possible to micro around both of those things. You just have to be on top of your game. Like, it is. Nothing can go wrong. But he's but doing the right thing. Oh, yes. I'd, I'd get out of there. The I'd get out of there. Yeah, you did the, made the right decision. Good, good. And you smoke. Excellent. So you've chosen your commander. You've got the... Uh, is it the Festung armored option? I believe so, yes. Which it's is the first one in the game with a pack 33. Which is fortress armor, team. isn't it? Fortress uh, is like the German word Festung. I'm not sure. I but think so. Yeah, it's basically defensive. Everything on there is defensive. You've got a hold down Indeed. ability. Uh, Panzer Tactician, which is smoke. The pack 40. Except the railway artillery. It's just yeah, amazing. It's, that's ridiculous. That offense. It is ridiculous. Shells the size of a house. <laughs> Good, you've got your med bunker. That's good. Um, what, what point did you get that in the game? Do you tend to get it quite early, or do you get it mid game when you're fighting oh, missions? It, de it depends. It depends on. I'm not sure, honestly. I just kind of build when I get a chance. Definitely, yeah. When you're uh, pioneers back, because obviously most German players have one pioneer, so it's make most yeah. convenient, really. I actually generally build a second pioneer at some point in the game. That's just useful for background capping and other stuff. He's using his KV-8 and his field gun as one cohesive thing. It's like his KV-8 is towing the field gun around the battlefield. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh. He, sh he should weld the field gun to the top of the KV-8 and make a super tank, in my <laughs> opinion. <laughs> That's basically no, how no, he's playing it. Oh, for sure. That would be so overpowered. <laughs> Stug 3, uh, excellent choice. That um, would be a very, uh, well, depends on what patch you're playing. On this most recent patch, the Stug isn't as powerful as it once was, but it's still a pretty good thing. I think it's due a buff, and uh, in a patch coming, maybe to, as we record this today, um, I think it's going to receive one. Just my I, I really hope so. Yeah. The pack is under, I mean, the Stug is underwhelming right now. And so is the pack. Oh. So is the pack. I lost a bad two grand years south to the KV-8. Oh no. Unfortunately. Is that something you just saw in this um, replay now? Because it's something you could have missed in the f when you were playing? No, I remember noticing it and I was really oh, sad no. about that. Oh, no. It's one of those morale killers, isn't it, when you lose vet? Yeah. Look at him, he has his vet tree conscript squad and he probably has a lot of vet tree. He you also have a got lot of vet troops on the field. Hmm? You have a lot of vet yourself though, man, I wouldn't put yourself down. I, mean, I do. You got vet 2 for Panzer Grenadiers, which is increased armor. So it's good stuff. Generally make sure all my units are well preserved and stay alive in my games. You definitely have a winnable like position at this point, I'd say. Yes. But so is your Still opponent. Still not, not very easy though, with the setup that Peter has right now. He's got a second AT gun as well. Nice, that's exactly he wants what you to make sure that. Yeah, he wants to make sure that KVA stays alive. Well, he's got a very interesting strategy. He's got shock troops for anti infantry, KV 8 for, you know, killing all the civilians with its flames and stuff, and then the AT guns to keep the KV 8s alive. It's good stuff. Yeah. It's a good use of combined arms. Very good, very good. Although his KVX pushed a little bit too aggressively now, but there's no Shrek backup, and I've noticed the Shrek seems to be the only thing that can fully penetrate it, like guaranteed penetration. The Stug doesn't seem to do shit. Oh, the Stug needs some to fire. I it still fires pretty quickly, and it can do a lot of damage given the opportunity. It's just really fragile at the moment, which is unfortunate, because I think that's crap. Yes. The SC-85 just free shots it. Oh yeah, they but the tank destroyer versus the tank destroyer. Yes, I see. It gives weapon Indeed. damage, Vet 2. Very good. It's scary. It's still, it can't shoot in any of my tanks, though. Which makes it useless. <laughs> well, good positioning from yourself. Oh, <laughs> no, you've got the Panzer... Oh, I don't... Oh, please, retreat the Panzer Shreks. They're your only hope. Oh! oh! And the Mortar kills it. Oh, that's so unlucky. You need to flank around the building to get the Panzer Shrek. You need to do it, man. You need to do it. Flank around the building. Oh, no! I can't. The KV-8 is too far. What's happening? Some of the, the Panzer Grenadiers are dancing with each other. Have you seen that? <laughs> they're on fire and they're dancing. 
the scissoring no, each other. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking with my Panzer, panzer Grenadiers there. I just died off. I'm gonna record this for a long Here comes the Stuke. Here's the Stuke. The Stuke's here. It almost kills it, but the AT gun just stops me. Oh no. Good uh, good retreat though. That that little verge should save it behind there. I have an AT gun of my own now. The problem is your opponent has Shrock troops with a Shrek. That is a very aggressive uh, infantry unit there. Yeah, your AT Indeed. gun was waypointed into the centre of the map. Hopefully you've caught it just in time and I wouldn't want to see you lose yes, you lost it. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I lost it. <laughs> I'm firing <laughs> Oh, nice. That's why the field guns are infinitely better than the packs. They're both seemingly better against tanks, seemingly. And they have a uh, auto. And he kills it. He kills my AT gun. <laughs> the shortest lift thing ever. They're expensive as well, those things. I think they're expensive. They're, th they're 316 manpower. Yeah, which is, uh, you know, a lot. 120 more than the average infantry unit for the Germans. So that's a lot. Indeed. Yeah, you're oh, trying I to get revenge instantly. Minutes. You got two uh, vetted squads yep. coming for it. Three! You really wanted revenge on this field gun. Damn you! Oh. I just saw an opportunity to take out the veteran AT gun and I took it. And look at that conscript squad. Nice! Oh, no grenade, no man. Nice grenade. Oh, I know. Vet 3 does that though. It's got a massive increase yeah. in durability. Pretty amazing. But the Panzer Guardians are going, going to work there. Oh, for sure. Oh, and oh the, the ball is a well. friendly fire, yeah. yeah. I'd love to so see another... Two yes, another yes, another bundle, but oh, it's ineffective this time. No, it's wasted. Ooh, Destruction did a good one, though. And the Panzer Grenadiers get fed too. Just about, man! You're dicing with death! I have to take risks now. So close to winning, and look at Peter, he took on the entire map now. Yes, he really did. Um, and your tanks haven't been repaired, so they've been utterly... Uh, they haven't been present on the battlefield. He's got no. Maxim watching over the VP. It just seems like everything's fallen for him and, and nothing's gone your way at this point. I still do have the VP train going. But he can just e just as easily stop it. Yeah, he could just push his ma Maxim up. In fact, I think you can see him do that. Um, it's difficult to say what you need to do at this point. Um, I'd argue that you should have saved for the extra 20, I think, uh, 25 munitions, not munitions, fuel to get the Panzer IV over the Stug III. Because um, then you could have flanked things, and uh, Panzer IVs are very good against field guns because they can flank around the battle. I uh, don't know if you, um, you've tried that out much in auto match. Obviously, I usually do flank them yeah. when I get the chance for the Panzer IV. Makes the opponent panic as well. But yes, I think you're right. I should have waited for another Panzer for us. Stugs are just too underwhelming. That was a mistake from me. See, there's one mistake you made. I mean, I, you did very well to get into this stage of the game with him, with how powerful Soviets are and how good this guy is because he's the balanced dev. So kudos to you. But I'm not seeing a way you can get Thank back you. into it at this point. I mean, I'm trying to think what could he do, what could go his way. Um, oh, killing the Vet 3 conscripts would be a good start though. That would be very impressive. It'd be a shame you haven't got Honestly, what? I do, I do. I did use it. Oh, and nice! You just got a Vet and used down. it. Oh, sweet. Go on! Oh, I really wanted that kill. But in the meantime, nice two rolls onto the field. And the tank is chasing down the conscript. Oh! I think that might have saved no. Please tell me you get the kill though. You don't get the kill, man. That is just unfortunate. The mammoth tank is here. No. Yep. And oh, the Panzer IV did a lot of damage in one shot. Still, it's no chance for it to win there. Oh, oh the conscript actually died. It actually it was died. Chasing the tank. It, it died. It was chasing my tank, and the machine gun hit it. Oh, excellent! The machine gun phased through the IS-2 and hit it. Excellent. That's just what we needed. To <laughs> that's that's a bit of luck. Unfortunately, you paid the ultimate price. Yeah. Oh. oh, and my Panzer just got fed too as well. Yeah, that was from taking damage, no doubt, though. I didn't see him probably killing that yeah. three conscript. Ouch, and my Stug is gonna go down as well here. Look at that damage. And it didn't even get one shot in. Whoa, did you see how much damage it did? Yeah, it's unreal, man. 
for Stugs, it's such a low profile and relatively thick armor for how big the vehicle is. You know, they should be able to survive a little bit more. I just hope they can just get penetrated frontally every time. Yes, and and if the stun had more survivability, it would be a much much better AT tank because the amount of damage it did to that IS-2 in one shot that actually penetrated, it was great. Yeah, um, this the KV-8 is now coming in for the kill. This guy senses that you haven't got anything left, and he's right. No, he actually got up to four up again. Yeah, this is my last just rolled off the <laughs> Save us, P4. You're our only hope. Indeed. He needs to go for the IS-2, I'd suspect. Oh, nothing's going to happen. Unfortunately, he's very well prepared for any more tanks I have. Yeah, he's got the field gun in position. But man, you, you, you did very well to get to this stage of the game. Um, in terms of strategy, obviously a few unit choices you could have made differently. Uh, Let me just stop you right now. Take note to the top the Panzerfuhr is moving in to flank the IS-2 right now. That was... I thought that was my only hope. Build the IS-2 and then I could just take the game back from him. Yeah, good game sensor. Because those things are expensive, those IS-2s. I actually got behind him as well for the rear armor, but... You'll see what happens. What the fuck? Its turret speed is incredible! Did you see how fast its turrets move? That was quick for company heroes. Usually it's a lot slower than that. Especially for such a big turret. Also... Four shots that didn't penetrate. Oh man, you did get a side armor shot as well. Yeah, three of them were shot side armor. And if I just had Panzer Shrek here, I could just finish him off, but Shock Trooper just taunting you. Yes, yeah, taunting you, that's the way of saying. Oh, he killed you with them as well! Oh, yeah! Uh, out of six shots, one of them penetrated. That was so bad luck for me. There. Yes, for sure. I was platform. massively surprised by the turret speed of the IS-2, the rotation speed. Holy crap, it was fast. Indeed, it's pretty quick. Now the KV is... it's massive as well. Oh, it's going to kill about three Grens. Yeah, and that's that's it. The KVA just can mop up the rest of my army. Yeah, that Gren, that was terrible. Um, the Vet 3 Gren's dead, you've got nothing. You're just playing for honor now, honor, pride. <laughs> Not much honor, I'm just sacrificing my units to the KV-8 gods. <laughs> the KV-8 gods! 28 kills, 28 uh, kills on him. I just didn't want to see it anymore. My poor Panzer is just dancing in the flames. There we go, play back over. I'll uh, pause it to get rid of the game sounds, but uh, yeah, that was a highly entertaining game. You, you did extremely well in the tournament. Obviously, kudos, man. You did really well. Thank you. Thank you. Did better than I've ever done. <laughs> in fact, you kicked my ass twice today in um, custom games, so you're <laughs> clearly a pretty good player. I mean, I am obviously incredibly good myself, so to beat me, man, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm just a comp stomping noob. I said that about you. No, I, I said that's what I <laughs> thought you were before I played you because I know, I, I know. you were the I'm team speak making... on Reddit, so you know. <laughs> well, else was I, I just wanted to be. A, I just wanted to be a bit social, meet a few new people, exactly. get some people to play Company of Heroes too with. Because well, I've sure. been playing the matchmaking, and I, I don't. I generally seem to win with almost everyone. That's good. That's very. That's yeah, good. winning's good. Losing's bad. So you, you seem to be. One to watch in the Company Heroes competitive scene, which is now on near non-existence, but uh, <laughs> as far as it goes, you know, uh, well played, man, and hopefully oh, we'll see oh. more of you in the future. Hopefully you managed to analyse some of your strats in this game. What would what are your takeaway things from watching your own replay? That I could have made a lot of different decisions here and probably won the game. The biggest mistake I made was taking the baits again with the KV-8 and AT gun with my first pan Panzer IV. If if I just didn't lose that tank, I could have won with get by getting more Panzer IVs up. Definitely. Um, and just I'm flanking him and maneuvering him. You were fighting an uphill battle, um, and then that was a big like you know massive uh, disappointment for you. I don't think it was recoverable from that point to be honest. But uh, well played, man, and everybody, thank you for watching. I'll be will be doing this series from now on. Um, 
probably want once a week I'd say so subscribe if you want to see that it come up in your inbox and thank you for watching and goodbye